Yeah, hey, she's carrying kids, a fair amount right now. It's time for Extend TV. Slot three. Whew. We've explored pretty deeply. Maybe we'll find that part soon. That's right. We are here for the part. Oh, maybe I won't leave until we get the part. Pushing it once will give us a good idea of, of how, what to expect, basically. She's not overburdened. Overburdened's in the red. Oh boy, machine parts! I was busy thinking about the next video and completely forgot about that. Well, at least he knows they're not pants now. Oh, show. Looking for machine parts is their mission. Oopsies. But I did find the next video. It says, Sloth Part 3, The Blindfolded Woman. Blindfolds, huh? I hear they're good at helping keep things interesting. Hmm? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing, Mirai. Shut up. Go away. But Mirai's starting to get curious about it, too. Let's get right into it. Don't, don't you dare corrupt the lamb. <laughs> you like it, don't you, Mirai? Not as much as you, Mr. Show. Oh my god, you have no idea. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if it's waiting for me to push something or not. I think it is. Ah, Chief, why is the woman's photo published in my article? Photo? Oh, the woman in poverty article. How should I know? You probably put it in there yourself. I didn't know such thing. You checked it after me. Is that right? Oh, well. Oh, well. Forget her censored eyes. Anyone who knows her be able to tell right away. You couldn't tell she's hot from that neck down picture. It'll sell better this way. I really do hope that we actually killed him. But it looks have nothing to do with the content of the article. Look, Haruto, don't you get it? Mashiro Weekly is supported by old dude's sex drives health and a tier below that, politics. They don't give a rat's ass about a young woman's struggles with poverty. But if it's about a hard-working, beautiful young woman with huge knockers, suddenly it becomes interesting. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't give the producer voice to any of our characters because this is the perfect place for it. It gets these perverts fantasizing about grabbing hold of this hottie and doing things to her. That wasn't my intention when I wrote that article. And I promised her we wouldn't disclose her photos or any personal information. Still so green, Haruto. You should be happy your feature article was even published. Her eyes are censored, no. Just tell her there was a mix-up or something. That's not going to... Uh, Chief, the director's on... The director's on Life 3. Where have we heard that? We're done here. If she's still stubborn, just pay her some compensation. Oh, the single mother we featured in her article? Mm. Oh yeah, <laughs> isn't she hot? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Her ex-husband broke into her house and took her kid hostage? What do you mean she flew into rage and stabbed him with a kitchen knife? I found out where she lived from the photo in Mashiro Weekly and broke in. I grabbed her kid and demanded she get back with me, but she snapped and attacked me with a knife. She stabbed me in the leg. I managed to grab the knife, but accidentally killed her in the struggle. This is the statement from the suspect and ex-husband of the murdered woman. A murder resulting from our article is bad press. The phones are ringing non-stop with complaints. Someone died from this after all. People aren't going to stay quiet about it. I'm sorry, sir. This is all my responsibility as the chief editor. It was my fault for letting Harto be in charge of putting the article together. It wasn't me. I'm not the one who put the photo in the article. Harto, you were the lead on that article. Who else could have put that photo there? That. Editors take responsibility for their own articles. This time, I'm sharing the blame for your mistake. Is anyone else just like vomiting in their mouth continuously as I read this? Oh, but Chief. 
Now, how should we take care of this problem? Ah, it ended at the good part! Oh no! Looks like Haruto's in big trouble! Yeah, what an asshole, right? There must be more conquest videos! I'm gonna go find them! Wait! Where are you going? See, there's only one problem with the idea of the, uh, the chief being dead and that being a problem. I somehow don't think we would have regretted that. Isn't it obvious? The answer is in your name. I'm driving toward tomorrow! But my name is Mirai. Ultra Show! Yeah! Just roll with it, Mirai. Just roll. What's this? My neighbor is a murderer. This is the beautiful wife and her child. There it is. If you're gonna hide a tree, hide it in a forest. What's this? Photo popular from 2012. Hold my hand if you're lonely. Oh shit. Right, kids charge Let's very slowly. Yeah. No more messing around. Ready? They won't get away. What yeah. is this? Well, ambush as it comes around the corner. We need this, right? Found it. The Marino Taku and Drift Ice Angel. Drift Ice Angel. Wow, that sounds like just such an emo Twitch handle. What's this? Popular novel from 2010, The Interviewer. There's something here. Oh, I found a note. I'll read it later. Oh, no, in fact, I think I'll read it now. Oh. This isn't limited to Japanese, but the fastest way to learn another language is to speak it out loud. Of course, I had trouble at first, like with grammar rules and the differences between Dakoan and Handakoan, but all of that was trial and error. My older sister mastered Japanese before I did, and I owe a lot of my Japanese proficiency to her correcting my mistakes time and time again. Thank you very much for the introduction. I am Olga Belikor. I studied regenerative medicine for my postgraduate degree and mainly researched medical uses of cloning technology. Keep coming in at weird moments. Is this random animal murder simulator? No, the random animals we're murdering are mostly because A, they'll try to eat me if I don't kill them, and B, I need food. Right now, this is, um, oh sweet god, everyone is running out of food simulator, and, uh, well, I'm apparently getting a little bit of everyone vomiting internally simulator. We're getting to the bottom of Haruto's story, and it's been decidedly unpleasant. I came to Japan when I began university, so this will be my ninth year living here. My favorite Japanese author is Haruki Murakami, and my favorite Japanese food is natto rolls. Really? Ew. Thank you for having me, and I hope to learn much under your guidance. I spoke clearly and fluently, then gave a deep bow. It was perfect. My grammar and intonation, as well as word usage and sense of humor, were flawless. None of the researchers I had greeted before me, nor Dr. Terashima smiling beside me, had noticed anything odd about my Japanese greeting. In fact, they seemed to be relieved seeing there wouldn't be any communication issues with me moving forward. A new, hard-working, and honest researcher. It was clear to see I had succeeded in planting that first impression of myself in their minds. And that first impression was a complete sham. I'm far from a hard-working and honest researcher. Hell, Olga Belakor isn't even my real name. I never studied regenerative medicine, and I never took a single postgraduate course. There wasn't one single shred of truth in anything I told them. Sad spy sisters, a certain researcher's notes. I'll be escorting you from here. After greeting my new colleagues, Dr. Terashima began showing me around the facilities. Dr. Terashima, full name, Daichi Terashima. Although he's 61, he dyes his beard and long hair brown, though it didn't seem like he was trying too hard to make himself look younger. There was an interesting aura about him, as if that was his natural state of being. He's the director of Mashiro Nanotechnology Institute, also known as Mani. 
and is a highly capable researcher who helms operations there. Well, there we go. That's the uh, that's the acronym that's on our kid shirt. Despite his high social standing, nano machine son, he gave no impression of being arrogant about his position. Showing a newcomer around the facilities was something usually done by someone of a lower rank, but Dr. Terashima insisted he do it himself. Haven't you heard? It was scientifically proven that talking to sexy women is good for your brain. We walked all around the money facilities with Dr. Terashima taking charge. People ask me sometimes, why would you make your research facility in the middle of the ocean? What kind of question is that? The answer is obvious. Because it's cool. Uh-huh. Making facilities in the ocean because it's cool. Is that his idea of a joke? Or perhaps it's a method of completely shutting out intruders and preserving sensitive information. Yeah, Mashiro Nanotech Institute. Yep. Ma they they kind of doubled up on the MA there. A little bit cheating. Whatever the case, I was at a loss on how to respond. And yet, it didn't seem like the time to question him further, so I left it at that. Probably wasn't anything important anyway. The walls of Mani's underwater facilities are made of the acrylic glass used in aquariums. As we walked side by side with the fish watching us, even though the man I was with is 61 years old, it felt like we were on a date at the aquarium. I wondered if Dr. Terashima felt the same way. Maybe this facility is retired someday, I'll have it repurposed into a new kind of aquarium. He said it out loud, feigning ignorance. If this facility is retired, that would be when the research here achieves its end goal. Meaning the clone research being conducted here would be implemented for everyday use. My mind was paralyzed by the magnitude of his flippancy. It's not because I'm too serious. And it's certainly not because I'm bothered by an old man's boastful talk. It's simply because it goes against my religious beliefs. This may be out of left field, but my country's religion strictly prohibits the development and use of cloning technology. Cloning is blasphemy. It's nothing more than an act of destruction against the way the world should be. So why would someone with my religious outlook join Mani as a researcher? Simple, really. To spy on them. To cast aside Mani's cloning technology and research into the shadows of history. Bury it so it never existed. That's why I curated my background and was sent here to Mani completely undercover. Well, see you later. Let me know if you have any questions. Dr. Terashima waved his hand and disappeared down the hallway. Did the clones work it put into production and the production clones turn the humans into creatures? Who knows? It's hard to say. It's possible that something was happening in the state of the world that resulted in cloning technology being necessary for the world to continue because of what was happening to people. It's also possible that their breakthrough had some very unexpected side effects. I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, thank you. I lowered my head and stared at the ground, then slowly exhaled. With the tour completed, my work for the day as a researcher was complete. All right. I decided to head toward my big sister's room as planned. My sister's been laying low on Mani as a researcher for a year now. Now that I think about it, it's been a whole year since I've seen her. She apparently had her hands full with the project she's working on, and I didn't see her at the earlier meeting. I followed the mental map I memorized and headed to the dormitory area, then pressed the interphone button for her room. Coming. I could hear my sister's voice through the door. Her face appeared on the palm-sized monitor. Her glowing porcelain skin and amber eyes that seemed to draw on anyone who looked into them. She's perfect, just as I remembered her. Olga, one sec, I'm opening the door. She called my fake name with her angelic voice and hopped out of view on the monitor. A door opened soon after. Make sis. I'd rather just stick to Mei-chan. Yeah, this is a very long note. But I get the feeling we're getting a, a massive chunk of what led up to... Yes, and now Zero reads a novel. It's just like I'm playing Nier again. Yay. It's been a whole year since I've seen her in the flesh. She was really there. I'd even dreamt of this day. Is this Sachiga? It's entirely possible that the two of them wound up one. I mean, God only knows where the weird shit happened here. I suppressed the urge to call her by her real name and leapt at her like an Olympian to embrace her. I've missed you so much. We both tumbled to the floor and I ended up sitting on top of her. She must have hit her head pretty hard, but she still smiled at me happily. It's been a while, Olga. Her smile seemed to have forced the tears out of me. Glory to mankind. 
<laughs> I tried holding it in, but I couldn't stop the pathetic whimper from leaking out. I shoved my face into my sister's chest in an attempt to hide it. Olga, what are you... I missed you. I truly, truly had. Whenever I faced hardships, I'd always thought of my sister. It just keeps going. Like during spy training, when I hadn't eaten or drunk for 72 hours and had been unable to lift a finger. Become as gods. <laughs> this cannot continue. Or when I had killed all the criminals in my motherland as part of assassination training. Or when I had to offer my body over and over again to men many times older than me, who I had no feelings for. He must have been through so much. My sister stroked my hair like she could see into my mind. And as if to make up for all the time I couldn't spend with her, I cried for nearly a whole hour. When I came to and lifted my head from her chest, she must have been tired from supporting my weight for an hour. I'll make us some tea. She smiled warmly and began brewing green tea. Thanks. As she handed me the cup of tea, she also gave me a piece of paper at the same time. This is very lengthy. Note is a grievous misnomer. Notebook, maybe. As she handed me the cup of tea, she also gave me a piece of paper at the same time. And I'm also waiting for Ange T's sub to actually, you know, alert to go off there. But since it seems to be taking a while, let me see some love and hype and chat, please, for Ange T for 26 months. Continued support. Thank you so much and welcome back. I'm sure it'll go off on its own eventually. There, in our perfect handwriting, was the following message in our native language. We don't have to worry about any cameras, but they may be listening in. We'll discuss that matter through hit written messages. Straight to work, huh? To be honest, there was a part of me that wanted to have more personal time with her. But I'd spent nearly an hour crying on top of my sister. I couldn't really say it was too early to start talking business. I took the pen and notebook from her without res resisting. Understood. But first, can you tell me about your progress so far? We kept up a casual conversation out loud, but she gave me details on the spy activities she'd been doing this past year. The information we received beforehand regarding Mani's militarization of their clone technology was correct. I've succeeded in gathering data that can prove this. So, the information our country's officials had received was accurate then. Not only had Mani committed the grave sin of clone development, but they were thinking of using them for military purposes. There was only one thing for us to do. I looked into my sister's eyes, mentally conveying the thought to her. She gave a small nod without a word, then jotted down another sentence. As planned, we will massacre all the researchers here. Massacre. It seems like a heavy word, but what we're doing is a cleansing for the good of the world. A service to God. There's no reason to feel any guilt. Yeah, that's sounding a little original sin, isn't it? There can't be that many of those. That's 12% with only the one we have, so there's probably about eight of these. I'm still debating, though, if we should just... What's this? Goodbye, David the Sheep. I'm kind of wondering if we should... We should bail. Poor boy is carrying way too much right now. It's a little bit too much weight for her. Hmm. Yeah, I can't keep feeding people the garbage we've been feeding them too. I think perhaps we should. Do you run home or fast travel? That is actually kind of the question. Fast travel will cost us 25% of all of our points. But the question is, will going down floors also cause us to age? Well, that's nice. I just noticed the uh, the people who are actually in your active party have markers on their, um, on their diamonds. That's nice. Welcome back, Camara. Ready? 
They won't get away. I see a terrible pig thing. You coming? I'll hold it. Well, that torched a massive amount of what remaining, uh... Okay, so it looks like there's continuous drain if you hold the charge. Good to know. I figured that was going to be, uh, a bit of an issue. Yeah, resting's gonna cost us stamina. We're not gonna rest. We, uh, I think we need to just... I have to say, but I think we should go. Which way is In fact, let's, uh... Let's pull you right the hell out. There's a whole other set of stuff down that way too. No, nope, let's uh, let's just go. Whoa. I want to know. Now we get our answer. Does going down cause time to increase? It does. Oh boy. We might actually be better off in that case, uh, spending to, uh, wow, senior, senior stage. She still has decent attack. Actually. Actually, I might. I might actually go ahead and walk out. Reason being, the days elapsed on them, they're going to die, basically, on the way out. Which means we'll get home just in time to make a couple of fresh kids. Fortunately, the others are going to get a little bit old, so... to find, I think we're going to look for a way to stagger the ages a bit, so I may delay reviving somebody to help stagger the ages out a little bit. Question is, how much does one dead person cost? It's too heavy. I guess we're going to find out. Even for me. Ah, oh, yes, because he's older now. He lost so much carry capacity. Well, while we're here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, we'll go back. If we rest, that's also going to result in uh, a bit of time passing. Whoa. And now we're going to have three more people going old. Oh, interesting. Going from two down to one didn't actually cause any alteration in time. But going from three down to two did. Hmm. That's curious. I wonder why. Well, that'll be something to find out. That's going to make it a little bit more difficult for Looks me to like just go ahead and open. off them. Gone for two minutes, what do you miss? Well, you missed old. We officially have some very old people. Which way is north? 
Which way is north? You getting a little old? Wait, you are. Who's this Gandalf looking dude? That's the doctor. Okay, so we're back here. Passage of time shouldn't be as much an issue. We have our uh, our wonderful toilet available. We got old people. We should probably just go ahead and Did you miss the boss fight. No, no, actually, um, I decided with the uh, people getting like old, old, and stamina running low that it was best to actually head back, pass the points up. Some good gains. This is surreal. <laughs> it's only gonna get weirder. God, it's been a while since we've done an actual proper save. All right. We should figure out exactly what we want to do. I'm thinking a kitchen is a very high priority because uh, we want to be able to cook and bring some stuff with us. Warehouse, I think, is also an extremely high priority. This is going to require driftwood, which we're currently using as weapons primarily. Let's see how many we happen to... We, have, we actually have six pieces of driftwood in total. We only have one non-driftwood weapon. Well, I think we need to put it to use. So let's take it off of people for now so that it's available to us for uh, crafting. Is this game out yet? No, it's out April 9th. It's pretty damn heavy. Two kilograms each. There it is. All right, now we have the parts available. Reform skill requirements. All right, two survivors level one, two survivors level one, one survivor level one. Uh, I think warehouse and kitchen should probably be the. Uh... Wait. Oh, the toilet increases stress when used because we have a we have a horrible dirty toilet. Oh my god. <laughs> We're better off going into the dungeon to take a piss. How about that? We need water bottles and white flowers. White flowers. We need flowers for our dirty ass portable all right, no, that's cool. I, I'm down with it. Right now, our toilet is at the level of, uh, you know, that that one, that one McDonald's bathroom that maybe you've been in on a road trip, the side of the highway at a rest stop, that maybe no one should ever have gone in, ever. That's our toilet right now. I'd be stressed too. Uh, workshop is for uh, crafting items and upgrading equipment, so important. Look like the goats, pig bunnies respond. Uh, I'm not sure. We haven't actually retreaded a place yet to the point where we would have found out, I think. It's possible they respawn over time. So, warehouse, I think, is going to be a critical uh, grab for us because we have so much stuff and it's just weighing people down. We need somewhere to store all the crap we're picking up. And kitchen. We need cooking because all we have is raw meat. And uh, raw meat is not exactly helping anyone not get massively stressed out. Now, if we wanted, we could actually just... Hmm, there's something here still. 
I'm sure what. Your current toilet is a metaphor for the transiency of life. It weighs heavy on the psyche to be confronted by such a rangeable reminder of one's own mortality. <laughs> not, I mean, you're not wrong. Thank you for the bits claim. <laughs> Ah, uh, what the levels in that menu? Oh, that's specifically related to the reform skill, which uh, Haruto here has a point in. Reformer, there we go. Enable base expansion. I mean, we're going to have to take a look through a bunch of this stuff. Art Survival 1 allows cooking more food, increased cooking success rate, item crafting, increased maximum upgrade limit for equipment, harvest in certain areas with a shovel, fish in certain areas with a fishing pole, hunt with a steak net. Certain consumables require a uh, will cure poison, will cure paralysis. Opening safes is apparently a thing. Just cooldown after uh, time to landing basic attack. Nice. We have uh, we have a lot to do. Game just got super complicated. Oh yeah, I, I said earlier there's a lot to unpackage where the skills are concerned. Um, they're actually they're they're not really fucking around with their survival stuff. It's actually it seems like it's going to be pretty in depth. So I'm I'm looking forward to diving into that more. Now what I'm debating, and since we saved, I'm kind of curious to test it. Clone uh, clone corruption. We'll get to that. I, I know what it is, but I don't want to touch on that until the game decides to touch on that. Now the question is, which room was ours? It's possible those are things we actually can't interact with uh, without certain skills yet. Though I wouldn't expect that from the doors. But there's nothing here to actually touch yet. Wait, so where do I sleep? I guess it's not actually, uh, I don't think we really have the rooms yet. Yep. So it's there, but it's not actually done. One partition and oh, we've only got one partition though. Man. Oh, if sleeping actually covers a day as well, I could use that to kill off the old people. Oh, the survival level 2 is easy. We just have to spend another point in someone, uh, well, in us on Reformer. God, we could make ourselves build, bitch. I feel like I missed some key info. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, there's, there's a lot to this game. All right, I want the I want the old people to if die off soon though. If covers a day, I can use that to kill off the old people. CLZ 2019. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Claymore. You know what? I will take that one. Mostly because the quote boss seems to be full of violence towards the elderly. Good lord. Alright. We got building to do. I think we're gonna have to start with, uh... I think we're gonna have to start with the kitchen. What's this? Kitchen and warehouse. We need to be able to store stuff. Well, we can maybe make that last a little bit longer. The kitchen's the definite, though. We need to be able to cook stuff because our, our current food is gonna stress us to the point of insanity. Like the one time you punched an old guy in Bloodborne? 
<laughs> Remember the old dude in the wheelchair we kicked off a cliff? Yeah, good times. Ah, there we go. That's why it was something I could interact with. Ta-da! It's... It's a... Man, that is a hobohemian kitchen. Kitchen tutorial. Kitchen can be used to cook food items. Expanding the kitchen will increase the types of meals you can make. In addition, leveling up cooking skill will increase the success rate when cooking. Good cooking can be highly effective, so try cooking as much as possible. Alright, so... As you can see, everyone's got cooking skill zero right now. But we do have a few things we can try to cook. 90% success rate, though, so I mean, that's, that's promising. Let's start with some goat meat. Smells great. Jerky. Done. More jerky. Light, easy to carry, and satisfying to eat. Well, let's, let's see how satisfying it is to eat. Can I help you? No. I'm just going to be haunted by a cat, apparently. Hey, buddy. Come here. All right. Cat has come to watch the old people die so that he can consume their corpse. Joke's on him. Dead people turn to sand. No food for you, Isaiah. Sorry, dude. Oh, he looks so happy. I'm sure he does. No, he's totally just chilling here now. He's a happy chill dude. He's been under my desk for like half this cast. So they become his bathroom instead. Oh, good. Dead people are kitty litter. It's not wrong. Oh, yes. Since you're here. Yes, that is a plush grunt. Can you take the cat? I was, I was hoping you'd wait until I was here to open. Since I was told there's something in there for me. Yes, yes there is. Read it, Isaiah. Read it. <laughs> and eye drops. Cool. You still here, Ravnica? <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, I want to give this food to someone who's starving, but at the same time, I don't want to feed someone who's old and going to die soon, so... Is that, is that mean of me? The old people die so he can consume their corpse. Joke's on him. Dead people turn to sand. <laughs> is that a quote request as well, Claymore? <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Uh, I think this is up high enough. I want to have... Uh, I think I'm actually going to use Sachika because she's quite low. Yeah, she's quite low, not old, and it should give us enough room to tell uh, how much we're actually going to get out of it. It's feeding old people is a waste. They're just going to die anyways. Yeah. I don't know. We should feed them to the young. Yeah, but they're all tough and gamey at that point. That's why you slow cook them. Pressure cooker. Instant pot old people. They'll taste nice and tender. I mean, it could work, but they'll turn to sand. I know. Actually, it's funny. The whole turning to sand thing, I swear, is, uh, is basically their reasoning to prevent cannibalism in this setting. I mean, we can't kill them and eat them because the second we do, they turn to sand. Now, that said, if someone could survive, say, the severing of an arm... Would the arm turn to sand? Or could we eat it? Asking the important questions. Well, you have fun. Is it sand or just dehydrated seasoning? <laughs> ah, reconstitute with water. Oh, it's old people bouillon. Get the fuck out of here. I'm already gone, fucker.
Okay, I can't actually directly feed people who are uh, not in the party from here, apparently. So, let's uh, swap her in. Alright, because she's so low, we'll get a good idea of exactly how much she can potentially give. She looks terrified. She should have something to eat. Not bad. Okay, so jerky's worth about 12. It's not great. It's not bad. Doesn't give us stress, at least. I think someone's going to need to learn to cook, though. The question is... Whom? Who is going to learn to cook? Macho duck. Training some of the meat and nutrition value for not getting stressed or taking a big bladder hit. Yeah. It's mostly the stress. I mean, 30% stress for for every piece they ate. That's, that's not cool. The fact is, pretty much everyone's going to have to put a point in Art of Survival because I'm sure I'm going to want to spread some of this stuff around between people. So, let's just, let's just do that right now. Oh, some people have different maxes, too. Let's actually look and see if there's anyone who has uh, really specific cooking-related skills that maybe someone else doesn't have. Oh, wow. Art of Survival. Three points for her. Well, then parties certain consumable items cure fear. I haven't seen that on anyone else yet. Cormand, of course. Decrease stamina recovery from food and decrease bladder filling rates. Food lover. Decrease stress when eating. Hmm. Okay. Cure stench, cure injury. Oh man, these sound like they're going to be fun things. Ranged weapons, 100% efficiency. Wait, does he have... Okay. No, no, there it is. Uh, let's see. He's got just basic cooking. Basic cooking. Oh, increased score points after defeating an enemy. Well, that's useful. Basic cooking. I'm just looking to see if anyone's got, like, additional cooking skills. I know I saw it in someone. So at least one person is going to have. Yeah, okay. She's, I guess she's actually going to be our cook. She's the only person who has cooking lover. No one else has any uh, specific cooking related skills. Let's at least go ahead and get her a level in cooking. Old lady's gonna cook for us. Go, go her. She looks horrified right now. Alright, we need rock salt and white flowers for any of the other stuff that's here right now. Oh, also it looks like there's, uh, as you can see, cooking skill level zero. There's also a number beside it. Two more. We have a limit to how many times we can actually cook in a day anyways. I guess for now we should probably just have everybody make jerky if they can. This is 100% success rate for her.
Now, do I need that meat for any... I do need the meat with rock salt for some of the other stuff, so... Let's leave a couple pieces of meat, just in case there's not a lot of respawn going on. I am more of an bon appetit. This is my fix. Smells great. It's ready. How's this? And it's ready. There, we still have two left of each, and we have 12 things of jerky now, so that's, that's a help. That covers us for having a kitchen. We have a lot of stuff, though. I think we're going to need that warehouse. On the other hand, I kind of think we're going to need to be able to rest. Hmm, only the one divider. I want to check something. Stand up. Stress increase and bladder burden levels to pass through the threshold. Reduced by eating crave foods and drinking water or tea. We do have the water thing that we can go to, and that hasn't been hit today. There we go. Resting. Stamina will be quickly drained. Which I'm not, not quite the resting I was looking for. Hmm. Nothing about using the rooms, though, for, uh, for resting. Probably because we haven't actually built the thing yet. No, she was also the only one with one point in survival. Oh, I already spent the point. That's why she had one point. Everyone's old. Not quite. Renko's still a kid. Sachika doesn't seem to age. And the other people are... We have three people who are going to get old in one day. One day. There's just going to be an explosion of old around here. Everyone's going to be useless. I'll start at different ages. No, not at different ages, uh, but different amounts of time on the island. Two of us were murdered and thus came back as kids. And the two people who have been here the longest passed the threshold for being old. The other three people are going to follow them. Let's say it's going to see bedrooms are worth. Could, but it's a survival game. I kind of want to live with what I'm doing. Oh god, it all... <laughs> I passed after Riku. Riku can't carry shit. She's a kid. What am I doing? Nemro honestly can't carry that much either. That's not exactly great for her. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to risk building the, uh, the warehouse. I'm going to unload a bunch of our stuff. And we're going to take a trip out and see if we can't find some stuff washed up on shore to uh, help us out. I wonder what this is. All right, so workshop requires uh, one more person's got to have the reformer skill. Not workshop, I'm a warehouse. Same thing, though. All right, I need another reformer. Well, let's see. What the hell? There goes Zen. You can be a reformer with me. What's this? Warehouse can store up to 30 items. Ooh, up to 60 at the next level, though. <laughs> that sign for depot, I love it. So fancy. Oh, okay. Hey, International, how are you? How's the game so far? I'm loving it. It's all the weirdness and horror of, like, Danganronpa uh, with some interesting survival elements, and uh, it's, it's forcing me to make decisions. I'm really digging it. All right, warehouse. The warehouse can be used to store items. Items kept in the warehouse can be used for crafting and cooking. Remember to store items in the warehouse to make crafting and cooking easier. Oh, good. Is there, uh, on, is there just a quick... Okay, there we go. We'll keep the actual water on us. 
I don't know if that's... I don't think that's going to ripen now that we've pulled it, though. Uh, that's probably for crafting as well, so let's get rid of it. Crafting, crafting. No defense on it, so probably crafting related. Pork we don't need to carry with us. Bunch of goat horns, more meat. Vines. Good, auto stacks them. Shell casings. What was that again? That was... Oh, strengtheners, right. Oh, this is getting so much crap out of our inventory. We'll keep the empty plastic bottles for peeing in, just in case. And we'll keep all the jerky on hand, too. Oh, God, that is such a load off of us. Yes. Yeah, we have we have ladders to deal with. Okay, that gets a ton of stuff off of us, which is good because people are about to get even older and that means our carry capacity is going to go to shit. All right, let's uh well, let's see if anything happened to happen to drop in down by the shore maybe. Maybe we'll luck out. Okay. Like a thing, feels like it's staring at me. Careful. This is probably, yeah. Since there's nothing to interact with, I bet this is where we would fish when we have uh, stuff for that. Filling in the spaces as we go. Hello. This might be useful. Well, uh, looks like a little bit of stuff has uh, has washed up. Nice. Just some plastic bottles, though. <coughs> okay, we can't go there yet either. So, something later, maybe. The spaces reset every day. I uh, don't know what resets and respawns are like yet. Let's have a look, shall we? Crawl the pipes like that one was a kid, but I can't fit anymore. Ha 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 ha. Uh, oh, but I bet Rinko could. What's this? Looks dangerous with all those cracks. Let's not climb on top of it. Well, we haven't been down this way at all. No. Nope. Now that that seems to matter. Oh, that's right. I think we uh, started around here. This is like the uh, title screen area. That's right, where we chased that creepy uh, silhouette of someone. Aging character specific interactions. Please don't let that be a thing. I'd be fine with it because it's not like anyone's going to wind up permanently dead, right? We can bring back the dead. That's sort of what we do. Well, this is a bunch of stuff we didn't poke around in before, but we're not, uh, not getting anything out of it. On the bright side, no one's, uh, stamina is going down either, so it seems like we're free to walk around this portion of the island, the non-dungeon stuff, without impacting, uh, anybody's stamina levels. Ow! So if you can get out of a dungeon, you're pretty much, uh, clear, it seems. Let's see if that remains the case. This must be a bunch of different fishing spots because they all stop right at the edge of the water. Where haven't we gone yet? Well, we've got 87% of this covered at least. Huh. Alright, so if we're going to go looking for anything, we're going to have to go back into... Uh, Back into L Dungeon. Well, I guess. 
Uh, it's just the outer area, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's make some quick party adjustments based on stamina levels. I'm just gonna put Haruto in. Looks like you're staying in. We have the one piece of driftwood and an umbrella as far as weapons go at this point. That's it. That's all we got. Screw it. The kids can lead the battle. I have faith in them. Sort of. <laughs> 